psychopathy? Is it all about Dr. Lecter from Science of the Lambs and Norman Bates from Psycho? How about Patrick Bateman from American Psycho? Think again. A psychopath isn't a crazy person from a movie, bloodthirstily running around, ready to kill you on sight. Have you ever wondered if any of your friends could actually be a psychopath? Or is Hollywood's definition of a psychopath more appealing? Contrary to what many people think, not every psychopath is a killer or a criminal. They have a personality disorder known as psychopathic personality, which falls under the antisocial personality disorder category in the fifth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. This disorder is characterized by lack of empathy, lack of remorse, and antisocial behavior. Hollywood loves to portray psychopathy as madness to ensure a box office hit, but in everyday life, that's not necessarily true. When it comes to the likelihood of having a psychopath in your life, the odds are not in your favor. According to Dr. Paul Bobiak, one in every 100 people is likely to have psychopathic traits, and the probability is even higher as you go up in the office food chain, where you'll find one among every 25 managers and executives. The real reasons behind psychopathy are usually narrowed down to genetic factors. Yes, many criminals are psychopaths, but the majority of psychopaths are not involved in criminal acts at all. Here are 10 key traits of psychopaths. 1. Lack of empathy. A psychopath simply cannot feel what everyone else feels. They understand your feelings, but they don't feel them. Even if you're crying your heart out over the death of a loved one, they'll show compassion only to please you, not out of true emotional empathy. 2. Manipulativeness. Always knowing the right strings to pull and the right buttons to push, psychopaths use deception to cheat others into thinking, believing, or acting in certain ways. They only focus on personal gains with no concern whatsoever for how others feel. 3. Irresponsibility. Impulsive behavior and irresponsibility is their lifestyle. A psychopath would never admit to their mistakes. In fact, they turn the tables against whoever accuses them of anything so that the accuser would think again and even feel guilty about their complaints. 4. Narcissism Psychopaths usually view themselves as smarter, more powerful, and of more worth than everyone else. They have an extravagant, almost theatrical self-perception, thinking that the world revolves around just themselves. 5. Pathological lying. Psychopaths tend to lie, 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 and lie even more. Their lives are spiderwebs of lies. This ranges from moderate levels to high levels of lying. 6. Superficial charm. Smooth, charming, and attractive, psychopaths aren't afraid to do or say anything they like. That absence of embarrassment attracts others, as it can be misperceived as high self-confidence. Their hawk-eyed glares are mistaken for sexual magnetism by women. 7. Lack of remorse Psychopaths don't feel guilty for the suffering and pain they inflict on others, or for their actions in general. 8. Proneness to boredom Forever bored, Psychopaths have an exaggerated need for adrenaline overdose, so they're always looking for excitement and thrill. 9. Bullying Psychopaths are usually abusive towards those that are not of much benefit to them. This could be subordinates, elderly people, children, or in most cases, animals. They like to exercise their power over other fragile beings through bullying, and they may shoot hurtful words at any time without warning. 10. Sucker for power. They have an excessive need to exercise power and control over others. In other words, they are control freaks. Everything must go the way they want it to. And that's it for the 10 main traits of psychopaths. Now that you know what a psychopath is, do you think you've ever encountered one? Tell us about your experience below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow our Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook for more content, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.